and get ready with me. It was just like... <laughs> Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Taylor and I'm so glad that you are here. I am doing an unget ready with me and we're going to take off my makeup for the day, put my hair up, get ready for bed, and do a little chit chatting while we do that. But first, let me get a little more comfortable. And now... I think that's so much better. First and foremost, I want to thank God so, so, so much for the opportunity to be here recording, filming, and to be in communion with you guys, my community, all 19,000 of you. I don't think I've ever just taken out the time to sit and acknowledge my follow my subscribers, uh, followers, family. I don't know. that word, Those words are just so like, ugh. I consider each person that interacts with me, I, I like to call you guys friends because I don't want to think of you as followers or fans because that's so icky. You know what I mean? Like, I think we're, in my head, we like this. So we cool. You know? So I just want to thank you guys for being here and supporting me and even just watching and commenting, liking, all that stuff. I wouldn't be able to impact people the way that I know that I can if I don't reach people so thank you for that i'm just so thankful for the journey that god has brought me through to even be here in front of you and sharing my experiences and you sharing your experiences with me <sighs> because it's not every day that you meet people that accept you full heartedly and want to see you win and now that i got all that mushy stuff out the way we can get into the chit chat portion where i really just want to update you guys on everything that's happened in about the last nine-ish months or so. Just a little plain water bottle. Back last, I want to say August, I took on the opportunity to be a mentor to these young ladies that are amazing. They have really just changed my perspective on how I interact with people that necessarily are, that are younger than me and just changed the way that I wanted to go about interacting with people even like on online and in real life. And so I was thankful for the opportunity to be able to be a mentor to them because not everyone's gonna like you. And that's okay, but in the things that I want to do when it comes to like social media and even a career one day is really I just want to help and inspire people. And they gave me the confidence to go out and keep doing it. Because sometimes it's really easy to get wrapped up in what you're doing and get in your head and then like you start self-doubting and all that stuff. But to those young women just welcomed me with open arms. Ooh, y'all, this is, it sounds crispy. Like it's so tangly. I don't know why my head this wig do me like this and get so tangled like come on now you ain't gotta be like that with that being said if you know how to maintain a curly wig would y'all please give me some pointers because your girl is struggling okay let me just cause this is this is bothering me how much maintenance this is let me just do this real quick and then i'll come back and get back into the chit chat Okay. Okay, that is so much better. I just felt like I could not focus doing my hair and it sounded like I was biting an apple. It was just like <laughs> Okay, but back to what we were discussing. I started mentoring those young ladies and it just brought out a side of me that I kind of like knew was there, but to have people that were in my face, but they were younger and they were looking to me for like leadership and that, that confidant i had never really just experienced something like that and so it was really humbling to be able to be put in that position and basically what i would do is i would go in once a week to see them and we would play like games or team building things or i would we would just share and exchange stories and it was just really cool to be able to give back in that way i felt as if it was really important for me to do it just because being of the christian faith I think young women need people that they can look up to that they can see themselves in, you know, because not everybody has the same beliefs or the same um, interest. And so sometimes when you don't see people doing the things that you're interested in, you kind of feel alienated. And I wanted to encourage them in the things that they like doing and knowing, like, just because everyone else isn't doing this doesn't mean that what you're doing isn't 
of value. And so I felt really good just being able to pour into them in a way that they may not be getting in other places. Like I know I talked to uh, a few young ladies that they necessarily weren't getting the attention at home that they wanted. Oh, looking kind of crazy, girl. That, that, that they weren't getting at home or just overall just not knowing how to navigate certain situations or not having anyone that they felt comfortable with talking about the situation that they were going to. You know, when you're a teen... Uh, I just did all that for no reason. When you're a teenager, sometimes you don't feel like you can talk to the people in your life. And so sometimes you need outside help, you know? Because you don't want to be judged. And so I gave them that kind of judgment-free zone. Because I would share stories with them about things that I experienced too. So they didn't. So they wouldn't feel like I was going to judge them. And I'd even take my kids with me. To let them know like hey yeah I got all these kids and if you whatever you want to do in your life you can still do it don't let anything stop you from being able to accomplish your dreams and your goals and so love doing that and I'm gonna actually go back and continue doing it again for the fall for the upcoming school semester and so like yay super excited about that and I'll have I'm sure I'll have a new batch of girls but it's just being able to pour into the youth and serve them in the way that I would have wanted to be served when I was their age after I started that I started that in August then I went on to by the grace of God being able to be a co-host on a radio show so it's been a minute if you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok you may know some of this stuff already for my YouTube people I haven't been as consistent in posting and all those good things so now I'm trying to play catch up so yes I am now a co-host on a local radio station like I'm on a show every Sunday 6 p.m. Simplicity Sundays you can join us watching here on YouTube and um, on the actual site. And of course, I will drop all the links and things like that in the bios. In the bio, it's a description box. You see what I'm saying? Like having all these different social medias in my head, it's like, girl, what? Which leads me to the next thing. All these social medias and all of the new things that I'm doing has kind of led me to a shift in my career. Face oil. Oops. Face oil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So you're gonna take that. Love the stuff. It when I tell y'all it takes this makeup off like butter. Watch. Butter. Butter. One swipe. Look at that. Yeah. So I have a new direction on what I want to do with my career because as you know I have been a stay-at-home mom for the past couple of years and I've started volunteering in all these different aspects in my life because uh, my number one goal is to serve the Lord when you see me you see him I want everything that I do to be for the glory of God and so same thing with my career I want it to be Holy Spirit led 100% And so I'm not going to give you too much details on what it is that I want to transition into. But just know if you stay here, stay tuned to everything that I have coming up, you won't miss a beat. So with that being said, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you won't miss a upcoming video or a chit chat like so. I started the radio show back in mm, end of October, beginning of November, and I've been doing that ever since and have had a ball I've learned so much I've met new types of personalities I, it's also really helped me branch out in the way that I speak about things and how I discipline myself when it comes to my craft which has really impacted my soul oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> which has really impacted my social media in such a positive way but I'm just really excited for all the things that God is doing in my life when it comes to being able to chase my dreams and my passions and even my YouTube if you haven't noticed I have been way more consistent on my YouTube you can't tell because I'm in my bathroom and I don't think I've ever shown you my bathroom but I have moved for the second time this year in 2024 but since August of last year this is my third time moving so Lord Jesus, please let this be the last time. A little, well, just a little bit. So, yeah. We have moved a lot. But, like I said earlier, subscribe and stay tuned because I have a vlog coming 
of the whole moving process in this little family one thing we gonna do is get it done <laughs> speaking of moving and doing all these things and all this change my car broke down earlier this year and so we have been doing life without a car. So as a family with little kids, imagine just not having a car and having to, one, Uber places, or two, having to depend on people to pick you up, or three, walk. Walking places. Thank the Lord I have a husband that will walk to the store for me because baby, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. I can't do it. The furthest place I could walk is to the other side of this apartment. I did go on a 30 minute walk the other day, maybe like about a week ago. <sighs> did I just show my age with that? Yikes. Don't have a car at the moment, but by the grace of God, I know by the end of the year, he will bless us as long as we just stay diligent and keep working hard. It's gonna pay off. I know it is. I'm having faith and also hope that God is gonna work everything out, which he always does. And even in his word, he says he works all things together for the greater good that love, for those who love him and choose to serve his purpose. Romans 8 28. I may not have quoted that exactly correctly, but it's 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 um it's it's something like that. Next, this is the face wash. Oh, man, no. Wait, I'm sure I did this with the other one. <laughs> yes, we have moved and getting settled into our new place. Stay tuned for a vloggy vlog of that experience. When I tell y'all I have been on my P's and Q's when it comes to my YouTube vlogging and video creation in my B.A.G. bag. I have finally finished my first series on my YouTube channel, my pregnancy diaries. I put a massage in a little bit longer so I could really get that makeup out. Uh. But yes, I just finished my first ever series. I attempted to do a series last year and it just kind of fell to the wayside and I didn't finish. And that's because I didn't have a goal or anything like that. I was just kind of creating just to create, but then I sat down and decided what I wanted to create. And so I finished my first series, my pregnancy diaries, which I would love for you to go watch. I'm so proud of myself for just sticking to my guns and continuing and being consistent with my YouTube career. Because I'm just, I one, I love creating videos. And so to have been super just consistent and posting and editing and all the things that I've learned while creating and I'm just, I'm just proud of myself because everyone's a content creator now. But I don't create content for the sole purpose of just being being seen. I create content because I know one day I'll be able to share my story. And young women that went through the things that I went through, if they feel like they can't come out on top of it and chase her dreams, I can prove them that you are wrong. You can do anything in all things through Christ that, Christ that strengthens you. Philippians 4.13 Oh, pow. And I know that one is, that one's correct. And so with that being said, I finished the Pregnancy Diary series. Do you know what that means? Drum roll. If you haven't guessed, I have the baby. I have the baby. I have the baby. It's like everything else. I vlogged it. Duh. Duh. You're going to have to stick around and... Go watch the video for yourself. So that's all of the current life updates on this chit chat. But before we go, I do want to say this. I've had a couple of people reach out to me and y'all have just, like I said at the very beginning, y'all have been so supportive. I'm so thankful. So with that being said, I am planning to do a giveaway in the next 
couple of videos so i want you guys to stay tuned for that because i just feel like y'all deserve it you know what i mean like i want to be able to give back just even just a little 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 bit of what you guys have given to me i'm going to stop my skincare here i just really need to take my makeup off because i also need to, i still gotta take a shower because life with a newborn is whore okay you gotta get in all your self-care stuff when you can so with that being said we are all done here thank you so much for tuning in i love you guys but don't forget god and jesus love you even more and i will see you on the next video bye